A 55 kilogram jogger accelerates from 4.0 meters per second to 8.0 meters per second. How much work is done and how many times greater is their final EK compared to their initial EK? As we can see in the picture, the 55 kilogram jogger at an initial velocity of 4.0 meters per second is accelerating to a final velocity of 8.0 meters per second. Our given quantities are mass recorded in red as 55 kilograms, initial velocity recorded in purple as 4.0 meters per second, and final velocity recorded in blue as 8.0 meters per second. To find the amount of work done, we must take the final EK and subtract the initial EK from it. This will give us 1 half times mass times final velocity squared minus 1 half times mass times initial velocity squared. Replace these units with their number quantities in the given box and we will have 1 half times 55 kilograms times 8.0 meters per second squared minus 1 half times 55 kilograms times 4.0 meters per second squared. This will leave us with 1,760 joules minus 440 joules. Our answer is recorded in gold and is 1,320 joules. Unit check. Work equals kilograms times meters per second minus kilograms times meters per second. These units do not cancel, so work will simply equal a kilogram times a meter per second, better known as a joule. Our answer was recorded in joules. To find how many times larger the final EK is in the initial EK, we must simply divide the final EK by the initial EK. We will have 1760 joules divided by 440 joules, which will equal 4 times larger. So the final EK is 4 times larger than the initial EK. The joules cancel and no unit check is needed.